In a world without smartphones, clocks, watches, or even sundials, the Norse nevertheless managed to communicate about time. A 24-hour span of time was called a dugr, dugr, the daylight part of which was dagr, dagr, and the nighttime part of which was called in Iceland nott, nott, and in most parts of the continent nott, nott, with an A rather than an O. The day, of course, had its morning, morgun, morgun, and the evening marked the separation of day from night. That was the aftan, the aftan. The 24-hour day was broken into periods of roughly three hours, which are not exactly correlated with times on our clock because they weren't with relation to astronomical time so much as they were determined by local landmarks. Uh, these included midnight, midnight, that's midnight, that would of course happen at about midnight. Uh, the next three-hour period uh, comes at ota, ota, that is the dark part of the morning, that's roughly 3 a.m. Then there's rismol, rismol, that's rise time, uh, this would then be roughly 6 a.m. Dagmol, dagmol, day time or dawn time, that is the uh, time right around 9 a.m. Then there's holdegi, holdegi, that's high day, that's noon. Then there is ukt, ukt, that is roughly probably something like snacking time, that's about 3 p.m. Then there is midr aftan, midr aftan, that's mid evening, about 6 p.m. Then there is notmol, notmol, that's about 9 p.m. And those divide the day into somewhat recognizable periods. Again, that would probably be distinguished mostly by use of local landmarks. For instance, in the saga of Hravenkel, we read that uh, Hravenkel made a burial cairn that was used to determine uh, some of these times at uh, his farm in that region. The Old Norse word for time, well, there's really two uh, principal words for time. There's teeth, teeth, that's cognate with English tide or German zeit, and this is the source of the word for time in the modern Scandinavian languages, uh, for instance, t in Norwegian and teeth in Icelandic. Uh, this, together with timi, timi, which of course is cognate with English time, uh, both have abstract and concrete uses just like English time does, although in the modern Scandinavian languages uh, the descendants of teeth are mostly used for the abstract concept time, whereas the descendants of timi, like Norwegian tima, are used for the specific concept of an hour for the most part. But that distinction is not as sharp and clear in Old Norse times. In general, the Norse are not very specific about what time something happens during the day whenever they're talking about events in, like, the sagas. Typically we read that it happened at morning or at the break of dawn or something like that. Dawn is called dagan, dagan, or dogun, dogun. Uh, or that it happened, you know, as the shadows were getting longer, things like that. They're also not extremely specific about calendar dates. Uh, I'll talk about uh, Norse dating systems in another video, though. For now, from beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best.